Good morning, good afternoon. Sava here from Football Heritage TV. How are we all today? Uh, depending on who you support, depends on how you feel on a Monday, right? Or on a Sunday, depending on when you played. Tottenham Hotspur fans, how are you feeling? Uh, we got absolutely battered, I think it's fair to say. Um, whatever phrase you want to come up with. We took a pasting, we were battered, we took a drubbing, we were humbled, we were embarrassed, we were shambolic. It happened. It happened and, and we move on. Now, what we're hearing today, I say what we're hearing, like I'm Sky Sports News. What we're hearing today, just been listening to Talk Sport, watching Sky Sports News, is that there are conversations going on this morning and early afternoon at Tottenham Hotspur in regards to Stellini's future at Tottenham Hotspur. <laughs> I don't know. You've got to laugh, right? You've got to laugh because it's crazy. Surely when Conte went, Stellini goes with him. Anyway, Stellini's here, completely out of his depth, hasn't got a clue, and uh, they're talking about him going. Then TalkSport announce that what they're hearing is that it's Stellini that wants to go, that he doesn't want to be here, so he's going to walk. So whichever way you look at it, it does look very likely that and this might not happen, we've seen these types of conversations before, that he, by the end of today, might not be associated with Tottenham Hotspur Football Club anymore. Now, we'll cheer and, oh, hey, me, he's not the right man, get him out, blah, blah, blah. Cool. What do Tottenham Hotspur do? Because Mr. Levy finds himself in a little bit of a pickle, and that's me being very, very polite. A pickle is very polite. Um, Spurs are an absolute horror show at the moment. And there's now going to be talks as to, right, what do we do? Can we get in a manager for the last six games? Is it worth getting a manager in for the last six games? Is that going to be a full-time manager like a, uh, a Nagelsmann, an Enrique? Is it going to be an interim until the end of the season? Let's go with that theory for a minute. Let's go with the interim. Hence the title. Harry Redknapp has thrown his hat in the ring. And Harry Redknapp this morning has said he would come back to Spurs till the end of the season to steady the ship. Now, I was a huge fan of Harry Redknapp when he was at Spurs. I was a huge fan. For me, some of the best football I've seen at Tottenham was under Harry Redknapp. Loved the way he played. Loved his man management. And for me, he's a proper old school manager. Doesn't overcomplicate it goes back to basics, and it would appear that a lot of players like playing for him with that kind of arm around the shoulder mentality. Now, it's been many years since he's managed now, but we are talking about six, seven games, aren't we? I really should look. I keep saying six to seven games. I really should look, shouldn't I, to see how many games Spurs have got left. Tottenham have played 32 games, six Premier League games left. Now, some people will scream and shout and say, What's the point? It's six games. Give it a Mason. Other people will say, get him in. Let's get some feel-good factor, some positivity back into the club for the last six games. Some people will say, well, there's nothing he can do with these players. Others will say, well, they'll play for him and they'll run through brick walls for him. All of this is up in the air. We don't know because it might never happen. And it probably won't happen. But for me, it makes sense for many reasons. One, it's a guy that knows the club. I think that's important. He knows the corridors of this football club, right? He gets it. Two, I think he is a good man-to-man -man manager. I think he has got that ability to put his arm around the player's shoulder and go, hey, you're not a bad player, but you need to do this, this and that. Stop doing that. You know, I think he is a guy that will let the team play. I'm not saying... I'm not saying go out there all out of time, but he is a he is a guy that will put some emphasis on getting the ball wide, getting balls into the box, which is where we have strength. Son, Kulu, Dan Juma, Richarlison, Harry Kane. We will have some strength in those areas. He's somebody with standing in the game, whereas I don't think Stellini or Mason have that. Now, I just I, I think what happens is when when myself and other YouTubers release these videos, people completely don't listen to what's being said. Not all people. And they'll just go, oh, my God, Sava wants Harry Redknapp forever. No, no, it's not what I'm saying. My point to all this is if you are looking at Stellini going and somebody's coming in for six, seven games, I would like it to be an old, wise, head, steady head, an old, wise, steady head that's been there, seen it and done it. 
to take the reins. For me, if you put Ryan Mason in there, Ryan Mason's been there now under Jose, under Nuno, under Conte, under Cellini. Nothing changes for me. Now, yeah, while it's only six games, those six games could give you that, a, a bit of energy, a bit of bounce. You know, not the new manager bounce, but just, you know, make us a bit harder to beat for when we go to Anfield. Make us a bit harder to beat for when Man United comes to White Hart Lane. You know, look, I don't think any Spurs fan at the moment is expecting anything from the last six games. I don't mean we won't win any of them, but I don't think anyone's expecting us to go on a great run, get top four. But I do feel that for the atmosphere around the ground, which apparently you're getting all the sorts of noises coming out today that it's the worst it's been in Daniel Levy's tenure, that the players and the staff are disillusioned with the direction or lack of direction at the football club. It's all things that we've talked about many times before. That's not good. And we need someone to pick that up, I think. And, and I think, again, it's easy to say in hindsight, but it's not hindsight. As he said at the time, I think so many did. I My theory on why Conte went when he did rather than the end of the season is I believe it was probably down due to more ill health and him not wanting to be here rather than them just pulling the plug and sacking him. It all, it all spiralled out of control very, very quickly. And for me, it felt like he wanted to go... I don't think they were bothered if he went and it just felt like it was a big kind of explosion at the end. And obviously I don't think, I don't think Spurs were ready for, for, for the fallout from that, for what the succession plan to that was. So now you're in a position where it's okay. Right. I, I think Conte would have said to them, I, I want to go. Can we, can we mutually agree? Which then leaves it right. Okay. Hang on. We haven't got a plan. All right. Stellini's your number two. Will he stay on? Yes, he will. At that point is when, for me, Levy should have been braver and said, right, you're going. If you are going, take Stellini with you, take Mason with you and, and, and start fresh. The problem is what you've done is you've sacked what was not a good situation and continued with the same staff. So it was always going to be not a good situation. So I think lots of people have said, oh, it wasn't this bad under Conte. Well, no, no of course, because everything's gone downhill now. It was going that way with Conte. It's continued to go that way even further with Stellini. The players will be bamboozled with what's going on. For all we know, Conte has said he didn't want to be here next year and the players would have known that. The You know, I, no one knows what's going on and it's just an absolute mess. So for me, I don't think you give it to Ryan Mason if Stellini goes. I don't think you do. I don't know what that does. I think the players, again, I think will be very comfortable with that. Again, we always talk about there's no repercussions. For me, the players will be very comfortable with Mason because he's their pal, isn't he? He's their mate. You want a boss. You want a leader. You want a Ten Hag figure. Ten Hag doesn't do all that. Certainly not on the outside world. On the inside world, he could be all cuddly. We don't know. But on the outside world, it's I am the boss. I think Spurs need that. A red nap figure. Yeah? The same way... Palace have gone back to Roy Hodgson and everyone knocked it. Everyone knocked it. And look what's happened there. Bang. Look at their bounce. So, look, I mean, it's the the, the whole club's a mess. It's been heading this way for years. And I, and I said this a lot yesterday, probably with a lot more emotion attached because it was fresh. But lots of people in comments and say things like, oh, you wanted Conte out. This this is your fault. Conte w wanted out. I think most people in the world with with half a brain can see that Conte wanted out. Conte didn't look well. He wanted out. He didn't want to be here. His press conferences were telling us as, as such, talking about the history of Spurs, talking about how their vision versus his vision was very different. So for me, this was always going to happen. I've said this for 18 months. It will, it will go there and eventually, and it happened. For me, this isn't Jose, Poch, Nuno, Conte, Sherwood, AVB, Yole. Ramos, Santini, Hoddle, it's none of them. This is now about Daniel Levy and the lack of direction at this at this club. And as Pete keeps saying on the Spurs review, Tottenham Hotspur are a ship without a captain and we're heading towards an iceberg. We've been heading towards an iceberg for many years. Along the way, we stopped off to some nice scenic routes and everyone's gone, oh, this is a great journey. I'm speaking about Champions League. But the end destination for me has always looked like it's going to be an iceberg. And that's where we're heading. So what I will say is this. 
People don't want to hear the truth. People don't like the truth. Things will get a lot worse before they get a lot better. You can't just switch and boom, it's amazing. It will need to go down to come back up. Deadwood needs to go. Players need to go. Some players will be annoyed that those Deadwood have gone because they're their mates, so they don't play for a bit. It, it will be down, then up. You have to have the rough with the smooth. No journey is just that. No journey is that unless you're a Man City or something. No journey is that. It's like this. It's like this. And then hopefully you can start the trajectory up. So I think now I said, listen, one thing that's really key is as Spurs fans, I know people's urge is to jump on and you said this and you said this and you said this and you said this. As Spurs fans, I think we need to come together, right? And and none of us are happy with what's happening at the club. It doesn't matter what we believe. None of us are happy with the club at the moment. And it's been heading this way for a while. So look, for me, I would take Redknapp all day long for the last six games. For the last six games, by the way, I'm not saying as our full-time manager. But will it happen? I don't know. Let me know what you think. Take care. See you soon. Much love and keep subscribing. Thank you to everyone who subscribed lately. We are a couple of hundred away from the 5K. So please keep liking and please keep smashing that button. See you later. Bye-bye.